the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to review the National Plan for COVID-19 Management. The COVID-19 vaccination program forms part of this plan and was recently updated following the introduction of the vaccine in February 2021 in St. Lucia. The review allowed the team to identify the program strengths and to identify the opportunities for improvement as well as to assess and explore suitable responses to the program's limitations. As a result, it has been decided to undertake an accelerated COVID-19 vaccination drive. This drive will be undertaken for a two-week period, October 25th to November 8th, 2021. The Ministry continues to monitor the position of global public health authorities to improve management of COVID-19 at our local level. With the recent information on the benefits of booster doses of COVID-19 vaccines, and given that the shelf life of our current stock of vaccines shall be expiring in the coming month, the Ministry has taken the decision to introduce a Pfizer booster dose. This shall be for the more vulnerable population groups which include people 65 years and older, people living with underlying conditions, and frontline workers. The National COVID-19 Vaccination Protocol has been reviewed and updated. It now allows for booster doses of the Pfizer vaccine to be administered to this priority group, given the higher level of risk they are at for COVID-19 infection. In an effort to further protect the health and well-being of these individuals, the Ministry has found it a priority to modify the current protocols to allow for the administering of booster doses as of Monday, October 25, 2021. A booster is an additional dose of the vaccine given to an individual who has completed the recommended vaccine regimen. The booster provides an added level of protection to those who are most vulnerable to the virus and whose immune system would significantly benefit from this added protection. The booster doses will be administered six to eight months after the second dose AstraZeneca and given to people 65 years and older, immune compromised people 18 years and older, and frontline workers. The Ministry of Health anticipates a high demand for these booster doses, and in response to this, dedicated sites will be established for receiving this vaccine. Anyone wishing to receive this vaccine can have it administered at the following sites. Rufort Parish Hall, Wednesdays and Fridays. The CSS Center at Sanssouci, Mondays and Saturdays. Grosile Human Resource Center, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Miko Multipurpose Center, Tuesdays and Fridays. Denry Mothers Preschool Fridays, Sufre Hospital Thursdays, John Odlum Secondary School in Marigo on Saturdays, Babono Multipurpose Center Mondays and Fridays. From Monday, October 25th, all other vaccination sites will continue to administer first and second doses of the AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccines with more days for vaccination from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. VG Sports Complex, Monday to Saturday, Grosile Human Resource Center, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, Rufort RC Parish Hall, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at the Rufort Wellness Center. Larishus Constituency Council, 
Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Lafag Wellness Center, Fridays and Saturdays. Labry Wellness Center, Mondays and Wednesdays. Sufre Hospital, Mondays and Fridays. Vaccination will continue as routine at all other wellness centers. Vaccines continue to be effective in preventing disease and death. Vaccination has been one of the greatest public health successes in St. Lucia and the Caribbean region for decades. COVID-19 vaccines bring a similar hope for ending the pandemic. We encourage all who are eligible to get vaccinated to reduce the impact of the virus on us.